Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. All right, look at this. Can you see that? You know what that is? So I'm playing racquetball yesterday against my buddy, Louis Miori, and he pies that ball. I mean, bam! And hits me right in the face. It's not what did this, but he did that. What actually did this was me hitting the ball aggressively off of a back wall uh, when I was too close to the wall and I shouldn't have been doing it, but hey, I wanted to win. And, and the ball comes and just smacks my glasses into my face and I did that myself. But it wasn't very gracious of him to hit me before that. And it brings me to your video thought for the day. Graciousness. Do you know we can transform lives through our kindness? Not just lives of others, but our own lives. I mean, have you ever been shown unexpected kindness when you least deserved it? Uh, maybe someone forgave a, a debt you owed them or overlooked an offense or, or showed compassion when you made a mistake. Well, Paul wrote a passage to the Ephesians. It's found in Ephesians 4.32, where Paul said to be kind and be compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. And that scripture to be kind and compassionate to one another, to forgive each other, is chock full of wisdom that can transform not only the, the lives of those around you, but your own lives as well. You see, true grace is not simply being gracious and kind to, to people that are around you. It, it's, it goes beyond that. It's, it's actually um, offering these people uh, uh, extra measure of grace in those messy moments of life. It's, it's in the uncomfortable situations where someone's hurt you or disappointed you. It's in those moments that grace can become truly powerful. Um, it's, it's not a weakness. Grace is strength under control. Uh, it's choosing to see people not simply as they are, but as how they could be. And this has a ripple effect. When we show grace, um, a, an act of unexpected kindness can not only transform that other person's day, but it will transform their life. It will affect all of those around them. It will bring them um, uh, just immense possibilities on how their day can be different. So how can we practice this? How can we be more gracious? Well, first, I think we need to start each day and try to be conscious of the grace we've received in this life, of course, from God and and from others. But then many of us need to practice the pause. We need to take a breath before we react to an offensive situation. Take that immediate knee-jerk reaction away. It's not to be, you know, but what, when that ball was, was back on that back wall and I knew my only chance of getting it up to the front was to hit it as hard as I could against the back wall, even though my face was this close. Uh, I, I didn't think. I just reacted, and that's how I got the semi-black eye. Um, we need to take time to think in this life and not merely react. And then we, we need to see opportunities to give that grace which we need ourselves. So uh, in conclusion, graciousness, that ability to extend kindness beyond what's deserved in the moment, has a transforming power on the lives of others and the lives of ourselves. It's what we ought to be doing and it's why I've made this our video thought for today.